Hello my reading friends! Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time with me, Steffi. Thank you for joining in with me today and I'm so excited to have you here with me in this episode. In today's book, we are going to find out about everyday object that can form into a family. Let's find it out as we read all kinds of families. Please enjoy the story. All kinds of families written by Mary Ann Holman and illustrated by Mark Bouton. Families, families, all kinds of families. Families are people and animals too. But all sorts of other things fit into families. Look all around and you'll see that they do. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family. The stars and the sun and the moon are a family. The socks in the drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor. They can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you are born, you are part of a family. As soon as you are born, you are a daughter or son. As soon as you are born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you are born, it is bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family. So can a loaf with its slices of bread, celery stalks, or a big bunch of carrots. They sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you find to make families? Pennies and cartex and marbles and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers, and crayons and tacks, bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. Clams in the sea make a clammy family. Lambs in the field make a lambly family. Gems in their jars make a jamily family. And yams in the cupboard a yamily family. Out in the yard, you'll find dry twigs and branches. Horse chestnuts, barberries, acorns and cones. Down at the beach, you'll find pebbles and seashells, soft-colored beach glass, and ocean-smoothed stones. A saucer and cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or the fork or the knife. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. If you are the first baby born to your mother, your mother's a mother 
because you are here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father's a father because you appear. If you are the second one born in your family, someone is a brother because you arrive, or someone is a sister, and you are a sister or brother the moment that you are alive. You can make families from clay or from play-doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard. Make them from sticks or balloons that you blow. Spools are family, and tools are a family. And chalks for the blackboard at school are a family. Six slices of cheese. Or a pot full of peas, or a key ring with keys, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. You might say that numbers belong in a family, or alphabet letters, or notes in the scale, the colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano, or stamps for the mail. Inside or outside, in summer or winter, you can find families for so many games, families to play with, spend most of the day with, telling them stories, and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. Make believe families and families of people. Families of people from long, long ago. Families like stepping stones, crossing the water, leading to now and the families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from. Someday, you'll grow up and you'll have a new family. And you'll be the family of families to come. That's the end of the story. Wow, so many things in our life can form into a family. My reading friends, what other families can you find in your daily life? You can email it to us for the answer. And also, please like this video and also subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button for other special stories from me. See you in the other story.